and Lauren from Daily Candy, and today we're here with Patrick Watson, owner of the Brooklyn Wine Exchange in Cobble Hill, and today he's going to tell us four things to look for when we're drinking wine so we can sound like pros. Absolutely. So step number one, uh, the color. The color of the wine can tell you a lot of different things. It's a fuller bodied wine or a lighter bodied wine. Those little legs that you see streaking down usually indicates um, that it's a fuller bodied wine with a higher tannic structure. And so the, the thicker and the richer those streaks are, the drier the wine is going to be. Step number two is the aromatics. With red wine, I would start with berries, blackberry, cassis, raspberry. With white wine, what you want to do is suggest different types of citrus. Um, Sauvignon Blanc should smell like grapefruit. So while you're with a group um, and you're tasting wine together and you begin to suggest to them different types of berries with red wines or citrus fruits with whites, then all of a sudden, people are really going to think you know what you're talking about. Did you stick your nose all the way in the glass? There's sort of a sweet spot on the lip of the glass. Yeah. It smells like the first few days of fall. The first few days of fall? <laughs> hey, that's awesome. Again, at the end of the day, it's all about enjoyment. Step number three is obviously how it tastes. What every winemaker tries to do, essentially, at the time that they harvest the grapes, is pick the grapes at the ultimate time where you find the best balance between acidity and sugar. What do you think? It's smoky. Yeah, to me. you're absolutely right. And step number four is the finish. Does it sort of drop off the planet, or does it sort of hang on and, and linger? So just uh, hanging hang out, out right here a little, mm -hmm. in a nice way. Yeah, there's there's sort of this coating of a fruit, but there's definitely sort of a nice high acidity. It makes you want to drink more. Enjoy, enjoy. <laughs>